This week on Cars and Things Restos, we head back to the dyno. Guys, we're here at the uh, Holden Bottle Walk. Back to Cars and Things Restos. Now, oh, there she is. Mate goes all loaded up on the trailer. Tuesday night. Uh, gonna go. Put her in the shed, I'll lock it up in the shed tonight, I'll pick it up in the morning, head over to Renmark, or Barmberry, sorry, um, where Kappa Performance is, and uh, Scotty's going to have a bit of a play with it, see if we can get it, uh, this cold start, nut it out, and get make sure the tune, get the tunes dialed in, and we'll give her a rip and see what she'll do. Righto, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. Well it is. It's dino day. We're over here at Kappa. We just turned up. Uh, there's Mako just chilling. Morning boys. How you going? Good. How are you? Good. How was your drive? Easy mate. Yeah. Yep. Especially when you got that on the back. <laughs> Cruising yeah. around. Showing her off. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So well, I'm going to undo it. Yep. We'll get into it and, and then we'll see what we can we'll play, play with. Beautiful. All right. All righty. So here we are. We're backing her up on the dyno again now. So we just spent a fair bit of time last hour or so mucking around with a cold start on it. So uh, we're not sure if that's going to be right or not. He thinks it's pretty good. He won't know till tomorrow before we start it. And uh, we'll see how we go. So we're just going to lock it down now and. So how we how it all works out. Alrighty. Scotty's having a play. We're just going to you're just gonna set up the switch I've put in it, aren't you, mate? Yep. What sure. are we calling it? Summon out's idle. <laughs> yeah, this is Scotty set up this um what do you call those things? So, oh the the table. The table set up the table with it so it's got two tables. So you click it now and it goes from your summon outs idle to your normal zero idle now so you can get your your blower surge at idle now that's what we want so is the red light going on yep you got your so that's off and then so zero's off one's on yep so you got your normal idle and then you'll have your crazy your idle. blower idle so it's easy as that that wasn't too hard i could tweak have done it that a little bit and then uh <laughs> we'll see if we can make it sound like a big blowing blowing injected car all right well, there you go guys just wanted to show you that uh, everyone else, no one else likes to show that sort of stuff, Scotty. Like I've been all over the internet, and then <laughs> the they do, don't tell you, mate. they like to hide all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And no. I'm sure Scotty won't show us everything. Uh, I'm <laughs> free to tell everyone anything they want to know. All right, we're going to have a play with this. I'll show you a bit later. Well, we mucked around with the uh, the idle to get the summon ants tune, and we've got a little bit of a problem. It's uh, sucking a little bit of air around the back of the blower where the uh, the wiring goes in and it won't give us a the idle won't stay level at, at, at idle and it's fluctuating and it's causing us a bit of grief so we've got a bit of homework to do there so now Scotty's gonna um, just having a bit of a play with the tune I think he's gonna do a few rips I'm fucking shit me pants so there we go
half throttle. So, so up ran five, started going a little bit lean. Yeah, about five. Tidy that up.
packing good. Okay, as you saw, we had a bit of uh, toasties under there. Um, so we have either split a cooler line or it's burnt through on the extractor, we're thinking, because we, Scotty was saying, we've probably got it hotter than normal, um, but we won't know until I get it home on the hoist and have a look. Anyway, to the nitty gritty. Scotty. Yeah, well, I think we found the limit to the, the standard torque converter in this car. I think it's either doing one or two things. It's either bypassing or pushing through the converter so it's not transmitting the power through the drive line to the wheels, putting it in onto a bit of a power figure on the dyno. Um, or it's, I think it's more so the fact that it's, yeah, under converted and it's just slipping and can't transmit the power enough. So, which sort of looking back on it now, transposed a bit to what we're seeing on the dyno where it'd come up off the converter, try and do a run and it would struggle all the way up to do a power run to red line and yeah. And the power numbers sort of show that too where we're down a fair bit on power, torque starts high and rolls off. So, so there, overall it's- There's um, the power figures. Yeah. And the torque too, you can sort of see where it yeah. starts coming up, sort of flattens out. This should keep going probably around to that. Realistically, once you start getting a bit more boost in and stuff, probably that 400, 450 horsepower mark you'd think and that torque should stay quite level where you can see here where it sort of starts high off the converter then just yeah flattens off so we're never going to get a good dyno run then not today no <laughs> <laughs> uh, overall once you get a probably a bit tighter converter and it probably something mm. suited a bit more to a boosted application rather than maybe a generic converter that come with a transmission with a power yeah. rating yeah um something that'll handle the torque probably a bit larger in diameter and can probably yeah hold a bit more power and torque through it you'd probably Probably do alright. Well done. So, yeah. Okay. Alright. So there we are people. That's what it's done. Uh, on an average, uh, Scotty's looked at the torque figures and reckons that it should be up around the what, 420 yeah, to 420 40. 420 to 450 horsepower I reckon it should be good to make. Which I'm stoked with. So yeah, on the road, yeah. on the road. On the road? Yeah. I reckon third gear would be pretty good fun. <laughs> but yeah. Well, it was before. Yes, it was before, and now it's got a fair bit more timing in it, and it's tidied up a bit more. So, yeah, yeah no, I think it's going to put a tyre on and go race it at the Mildura track. Oh, it's right. be fun. Super <laughs> well, we, we do want to go down to the, to the uh, what is it, the Super Nats? Super and... Nats and give it a bit of a run. But, yeah, you yeah. know, I think on the road, it's, I mean, everyone sometimes about all the power figures, but by the seat of the pants, a lot of it feels a lot faster than what it is on the paper. Yeah. So. And that's what you want, good street car, good manners, yep. good drivability, without it, hopefully you wouldn't find this stuff on the road, <laughs> you wouldn't want to find it on the road anyway, but yeah, uh, iron it out and get it going and yeah. No worries. Yeah. Alrighty, well that'll do. Thanks again mate, no I really no appreciate worries. your time and what no you've worries. done. Uh, it has been a bit of a stuff around today, but that's because what I wanted, um, we wanted to get this that tune and we... Little things just didn't go our way. Yeah, no, that's right. I've really. been battling a little bit today, yeah. but it, 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 is it, is. it is what it is. That's why car manufacturers take years to develop a car. Yeah, it doesn't that's right. doesn't generally happen in a day. Yep. But anyway, all in all, I'm happy, even though I've got a little repair to do and probably a little bit of clean and a bit of charred <laughs> crap under there. But it was only the fire was on the, on the extractors, so um, we we're pretty lucky. Scotty got it out in time, um, so it should be right. Alrighty, all right. Well, that will do. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please jump on and subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Alrighty, guys, we're home. We're just about to put her up. Let's do a damage report. Let's put her up in the air and have a bit of a look-see at the damage and see what happens. All right, we're going up. Uh, see oil dripping out of it. If there's any positive out of this whole show, the oil is still nice and beautiful and red. It's not burnt. Apart from the bit was on the extractors. All right, this is my first look, the same as you guys. What are we burnt up here? I reckon that's what it'll be. Can we see up in there? She's melted through on the extractor, I reckon. So, I reckon that's what it was. But other than that, Burn-wise, because there's a lot of flame, as you're seeing, it's, uh, it's, no, nah, hasn't even cooked that. Didn't even catch that light, that rubber. So it looks like all it did is, was this the oil burning? Oh, I might be fucking lucky. 
But if you want to call it luck, and the converter doesn't look too burnt, where's a rag? I'll have to send this to Scotty, because he said he was worried that we'd burnt the converter up, cooked the converter because it was getting a hard time, but it doesn't look too bad. It's not really darkened as much, very much. We might be in a bit of luck, but luck, unluck, you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> I'm saying I'm lucky. <laughs> um, we might have to look into going to hard lines here, I'm thinking. Um, go, I don't know how we're going to do it, but I reckon that's our problem is right there. Nah, my first, first thing I thought of was it's burnt through on the extractor. There it is there. I don't know if I can show everybody. Um, yeah, she's blown through from too much heat from the extractor. Oop, oh, oil running all over me. But look, it is what it is. Um, I was worried about that initially, and then I put the heat shielding on it, and it seemed to be okay. It was okay at summer nats. But as Scotty said to me, he said, look, on the road, it wouldn't have got that hot. Um, so you... Um, yeah, but not a lot much airflow and stuff going underneath it. They get extremely hot. So, um, but I still think we might patch it up for the car show that's coming up. Uh, this uh, it's next week again. I've got a week, but we might actually put some uh, hard line in there. I just don't know how we go about it, how we attach it, but um. But it's got solid mounts, so the engine is not going to move much. Might uh, look into it and see what we can do. All right, there it is. Um, we've dodged a bullet, guys. If it's only that hose, I'm pretty happy. There's not much flame damage under here anywhere that I can see. It hasn't burned in it. It didn't even burn the uh, oxygen sensor wire. Where's, where's my light? Because you've seen the flames. They were pretty fierce. But I reckon it was all contained underneath here and blowing back. So we're pretty lucky. It, uh, we haven't done bugger all damage. Very lucky. Oh, here's what it is. There we go, boys. All fixed up. Uh, just patched up the line down there and uh, tucked it in all hard away against the, from away from the extractor. Put a metal clamp on it this time. Uh, put one of these clamps on it and pull it away. Bit of smoke coming off the extractor there. So that's fixed. That'll be good enough for the car show next weekend. Um, seems to be, that's the first start up. So seems to be running really sweet. I think Scotty's got that cold start tune real, real nice. So, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but what I'm going to do is order some hard line and we're going to put some hard line from about that clamp just there all the way back down past the extractors just to be on the safe side I think that's the best way to go alright not too big a deal alright we'll leave it there we have a lot watching we'll see you next time cheers ok guys just a reminder about the uh, 5000 uh, scriber draw um, I'll show you. We are uh, when we reach 5,000 subscribers, we're going to go in and do a random draw to all the subscribers, uh, and you're going to there's two prizes up. First prize will be this uh, uh, scan tool, which is the SC530 scan tool, uh, t-shirt, hat, stubby holder, sticker, and uh, a hoodie. Uh, of the uh, person's size and second prize will be the uh, OBD2 scan or code reader and a t-shirt of their size so if you haven't subscribed please jump on and subscribe and go in the draw to win one of those uh, once we reach 5,000 subscribe thanks for coming along make sure you jump on and subscribe and we'll see you next time boys here we are another another addition to our arsenal a little six litre uh, ls2 for the burnout car 
uh, come with an electric water pump, which is cool. Um, I got it off a mate I know pretty well, um, and he got it out of a car, he said it was running perfectly before he pulled it out. He said it was beautiful little strong little motor. So it should do what we want it to do. Anyway, uh, we need to take an intake off. We might need to get a new intake manifold for it. So we can slip that on it. How cool will that be? Anyway, we'll see where as we go. Anyway, there's one piece to the puzzle for the burnout car. We'll see how it goes.